Hello YouTube, Tamir here. Got a solo high roller today. Just wanted to go ahead and upload this video for you all. It was one of my favorite high roller matches that I got this uh, last play test. Mainly just because of how intense the uh, ending is. Go ahead and grab this power shrine and we'll do a quick gear check. Uh, if you want to see anything, feel free to pause the video. I wouldn't say that I have a super amazing kit. It's probably A tier as far as budget kits go. I think all in all, this kit probably cost me about 800 to 1000 gold, which three or four successful runs, and you've paid for that. High roller, especially you're gonna come out with at least 200 gold every time you come in but uh i guess that kind of balances out considering it costed 100 to go in that rogue seems friendly enough uh, i wasn't really making a leaderboard push so i only really took fights that i had to i swear the mimics in this game are honestly one of the biggest jump scares that you can possibly have if you're not prepared for them. And if I'm not mistaken, not this chest, but the next one I open, it's a it's a mimic too. So the game just really wanted me to kill some chests. Really not getting that great quality of loot. I'm gonna steal this protection shrine in case they try and open the door. I'll definitely be able to kill anybody while I have this on. I think I'll have like 56 or something damage reduction. I ended up going back for that longbow because it was a plus two wall, which is the uh, arguably the best stat that you could get on a roll in this playtest at least because they took away the plus three. Got another surge kit, that's super useful. Other than that though, I'm not seeing a whole lot of great loot this run. Go ahead and top up my health. I hear the end of a magic missile, so I just do like a little crouch tag. Try and see if I can see anybody through that window. I don't, so I just keep moving on. messed up my double jump there. I'm not sure if I crouched in the air before I jumped again. I do know that if you hit crouch before you land your second jump, you just won't be able to. It locks you out. I'm trying to cut this skeleton spearman, but he ended up laying in the head in anyway. Looking back at the recording, I noticed that protection pot on my belt, which is something I try my best not to do, is to have my uh, pots on my belt as a rogue. And that guy, he totally saw me, and for some reason my stealth just immediately broke. I was holding shift when I started to move, so it shouldn't have broke like that, but I think I might have panicked and uh, moved a little bit before I press shift. It's so nice to be able to one tap those bats. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. 
had to rise up just so they could see me did what i had to do just to be me and what was left over i put towards my dreaming but the only i do have these two guys that seem like they're just trying to guard to keep me from uh moving back out of center and that guy had a winless winless is hurt I hear that other guy right outside the door. I'm just hoping I can get this uh, surge kit off before he opens it, but he doesn't look like he's wanting to. And then his buddy is just chilling on the side, so I hear that guy pop a protection pot. But I also noticed he didn't have a shirt on, so if I just hit him once, his protection pot will pop. So I'm gonna sneak past him. He immediately goes to jump off the edge. And I'm not having it, so I go after him. He breaks range with me, so I swap to my crossbow and just finish it. And as I get close, I notice that it is Lush TTV. And then these spiders are all over me. I'm trying to get my loot. I can't see anything. I don't have the torch. So I'm just gonna face tank a couple of these spider hits. I'll back up, bandage maybe once, and then I'll go back in and just let them demolish me while I get the rest of the loot. Hit a surge hit and some bots, so... I should have enough heals to get back up, and then I notice there's no way out on that side. So my only option is to push through the zone. I'm gonna jump up on this real quick, let the spiders get close, check my loot, see if there's anything I can drop. That failing axe only had one roll on it, so I just went ahead and dropped it. it wouldn't be anything worth any money really. He has a pendant that I missed a second ago. I grabbed that and then I'm using the map as my guide for where I need to go because it's so hard to see when you're outside the zone and not to mention in pitch black. But I do manage to get up to the top of the stairs fairly decent on health. I got the health potion popped. As soon as it drops, I pop another one. And that guy's just still sitting there waiting for me. He was very upset that I killed his friend. I missed my jump again, but uh, thankfully I have all these surge kits, so I'm gonna pop another one. Bass just sitting here waiting for me on the stairs, but I just risk it for the biscuit. He misses his attack, and the other guy, because the zone is almost done, and I am freaking out because I noticed that we have no time left, there's no zones left, and thankfully I get a portal and get out. That's it for this one though. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.